Hey guys, I'm Young. Hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Since none of us can travel right now, I want to share my past drone travel videos. Not just any videos, but my top scariest moments with my drone. So standing at number five, the scary, scary wind. The wind warning signal can be nerve wracking, especially when you're just a beginner. Going to Great Barrier Reef was my first ever trip with a drone and wow. The Australian wind in their winter July is pretty scary. That's the time to go and visit Binky Whale Migration. Did you hear that voice? As soon as it took off, my sweet little spark was blinking the strong wind warning signal. That anxiety. It probably felt more scary as it was my first ever drone. Few minutes were all the flight time I got on the trip, but I managed to take a beautiful shot of the diving boat. And at the fourth place, what's more scary than the warning signals are the actual signal cuts. That happened in El Nido in the Philippines, famous for its limestone cliff formation. I wanted to do a smooth big turn on one islet, but once my drone was behind a rock, the signal would be cut. It took a moment to get back into signal. At El Nido, all I could do is fly the drone high up and nearby, so no fancy drone movements there. And at the third place, take a guess. Yeah, I'm sure you guys probably had the same scare experience with birds. Oh my, how many are you? <laughs> oh mama mia, don't touch me, please. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get off the water. At least then I can pick up the debris. Please get away from me. <laughs> Phew. Okay, I'm on land. And soon after the birds went away. Oh, it takes some effort to get some beautiful footage of the seaside. And in the second place is the military encounter. Some of you guys might have seen this video before, but all the way in Tibet, at the roof of the world, I felt super glorious at Mount Everest base camp. It's not every day I stand at more than 5,000 meters elevation. Mind you, I did double check with my tour guide and it seemed okay to fly. It was extremely windy up in the air, the scenery was just open wide space and every summit was covered in cloud anyway. I returned my drone after just a few minutes. As soon as my drone landed, a military van came right up to the tourists. Okay, I don't have a good command of the local language, but it's not difficult to guess who they wanted to see. All I could do was to apologize, show them the video that no harm was done, Quite a scary moment considering that in Tibet's capital Lhasa, which is a no-fly zone area, a man had been imprisoned a few weeks for flying his drone. At number one place. I was at Komodo National Park in Indonesia. It is a paradise. What could possibly go wrong? Well, unless you try to land the drone back on the boat with lots of ropes in a wavy ocean. But hold on, first I had to actually fly the drone up higher to spot the right boat. Luckily I was flying back the drone at more than 50% battery. Oh, how I wish I was a multi-billionaire on a yacht with a helipad. Oh well. <laughs> it took me more than 3 minutes to land the drone amongst all the ropes. Ouch. At least it fell inside a boat, otherwise it would have been swimming with a turtle. Poor Nemo. So I hope these videos give you some precautionary warning. Always fly safe, stay safe, and see you!